I got an email the other day from a company wanting me to do a video on one of their products. It happens quite a lot. Occasionally I say yes. And the doorbell hasn't long rang and this lovely box from Amazon with the whole battery warning symbol that we have to have in the UK has just turned up. So it's a free vacuum. Doesn't mean that I cannot be honest. I have clarified that with the company. So let's get this unboxed and see what it's about. So one of the reasons that I said yes to this was the price point. Time of filming this, this is £130 worth of cordless vacuum cleaner, which certainly deserves some thought because, well, it's a fairly realistic budget for somebody wanting a cordless cleaner. Let's have a look at what's inside this box. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes! This is a cordless vacuum cleaner which can be bought on Amazon for a very cheap price and that is about all I really know. It is from Greenote. Greenote cordless vacuum cleaner GSC50. Let's pop this out of the way and have a look at this rather small box and that's because the wand is collapsible which is something you don't see on many cordless cleaners. So hey, that could be something good. What are the specifications according to the manufacturer? Well, it is a 2,200 milliamp hour battery, 23 kPa suction with a 200 watt motor, 12 month warranty and the rest. Also said there as well on the side. Let's get this box open and get this out of it because we're not going to know too much just by looking at the packaging. Green your home from now on. Ooh, right. This is the box and we have some paperwork first. We have various bits and bobs, warranty, user manual and other such stuff. We have ourselves a mains charger. This is a 26.5 volt charger. 0.5 amp, 13 watts, little DC jack there. Oh, that's ruining the exposure of the light, isn't it? And here we have the extension wand. Now this is a telescopic wand, which is probably why the box is so small. And it's almost infinitely adjusted, as long as you count infinite as those little dots. And yeah, it seems fairly good. There's no play at all. In there I can push down hard on it and it doesn't break either that is good have ourselves a nice long crevice tool it's in this packet we have a turbo brush nice looking design fairly soft brushes though and see how that copes we have what looks like a cleaning tool with various implements to get all the hair and grub out of the cleaners obviously you need to maintain it in order for it to carry on performing and here we have ourselves a dusting brush nice soft bristles not too bad at all I think that's it for that layer so we'll take off this layer and come down one further where we have the main floor tool for this machine Nice green oat branding there. Very pivoty, very adjustable head. Fairly wide. Underneath we have a row of very soft felt bristles. And it's actually quite nice to see some stiffer brushes. Obviously to be able to agitate the carpet. It's a 22 volt, 15 watt head. Not too bad at all. Very familiar design. We have a filter. Don't know if that's the only filter or if it's a spare, so I'll put that there for a second. <laughs> we'll have a look, and then I think we are left 
with the machine itself. Take that out of there and we'll pop that box to one side. And yes, that is everything that you get for your 130 odd pounds or whatever it is. At the time that you look at it, it's been on offer recently as well. It was down to 100. So, you know, 100, 130 pounds. That's not too bad. I don't know what battery charge it's got in it. Guess we'll find out. Great. Let's have a look at the machine. The vacuum cleaner itself is very small and very light and feels quite nice in the hand, to be honest. It's fairly basic, really. You plug the charging jack in at the bottom, which seems a little bit strange. There's no wall dock with this, so it's all sort of contained. But then I think there's another trick it does, which may explain why the charging brick is underneath. Here we have the ratings plate for want of a better word with all of the machine's credentials on it. To empty it, it's this button here. And then the whole thing separates. And this is actually just the battery itself. The motor is in this part. With a little twist, you can take the motor off. You could almost use it like that. So this is the power unit of the machine there. And this is the dustbin of the thing. So you pull this little flap down here, fairly decent. And obviously you can empty it like that and carry on. Or for a bigger clean, you can take out this. So you, we do get two spare filters. Don't be feeling, yes, you're not gonna come down and say hello. And on these filters, it's also, this is probably quite a good idea because it's gonna make sure that a lot of the fine dust doesn't go into this pleat. It stays on the surface. So yeah, you can give it a clean off a bit more easily without having to completely scrub the filter each time. But yeah, you do get two spare filters, which is quite nice. Put one to the side. And then I think you can take out the shroud here and the manual itself states that you can wash both of these. There's obviously where you get a spare filter. This will dry fairly quickly. The other bits won't. So yeah, that's not too bad at all. Let's pop this back together. Should be fairly straightforward. A little notch which you have to line up with the pins for the power. Then the filter goes in with a little twist. And you can do that bottom part up. This bit twists on. And then the whole thing, you have to push it in from the bottom and then snap the top in. And then we have it working. And here it is. Yeah. That's right, Phoenix. We have ourselves a one touch and then it stays on, on off switch. The minute we have full battery power, which is nice and okay suction. This button on the top increases or lowers it as needed. That's yeah, fairly decent all round, really. What we do need to do is, well, we could check the tools out, although these two are going to be fairly innocent. It's the electric tools that we need. So we'll start with this turbo brush here. Clips on there. And, yeah, it's not too bad. Ooh. Quite sure how it's going to survive being used on upholstery. You should probably use it on upholstery more than the floor because already that's pulling back on itself and causing a bit of a ruckus. Let me let me go and fetch a sofa cushion. And on said sofa cushion, I'll put just a little bit of sawdust and we'll see how well the green note picks it up. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Mm. Going forwards is okay. Going back, it just does that. Mm. Mm. It's okay, ergonomically, it's a little bit iffy. You can undo and remove the brush roll for easy access and cleaning, which is nice to see. And yeah, I think it's, it'll do okay for. You know, general cleaning up, and yeah, we now have. Oh, go this side. So there's no sticker. A bin full of sawdust that spins around quite nice indeed. So there's that. But the next thing that we shall do is fit the 
extension wand. Then we can fit the floor tool. And note that the thing does stand up by itself, which is why you can plug the DC jack into the back. If I pull you up here, look, you can see that it's just it's just sat there. So yeah, you can store it without having to screw a dock into the wall or make holes. And when you turn the thing on, very light to use. Picks up the bits. I wouldn't say it's cleaning deeply. It is on the surface, but hey, it's getting everything up. You can turn the power up. It seems to work okay in both settings. Yeah, it's certainly picking all the bits up from this rug. Let's give it a bit of a push around my lower floor and see how it goes on all surfaces. First impressions from just pushing it around my immediate front room. It is not too bad, it's not a deep cleaner, but equally it's picking up all the surface litter in its path and it's doing it fairly well. The gap in between the floor head and the floor is quite large, so the large particles go straight up. As you saw from me playing with the edges of my rug, it's not too bad, it's pulled up a load of fluff out of there. It stops the brush from it, starts it again, so that's not too bad. There's also, you can take this brush roll off as well, so you can give it a really good clean to get all the fluff off, because by the looks of it, it's going to hold hair quite significantly. And yeah, that comes off there. You can take this off, I imagine you could wash this, and then put it all back together. And in theory, it should just go on and click into place. Not too bad. This, if we take this off, um, I want to look at the filter first, really, because that's what's going to make a difference with here. There's a fair bit of dust in there, a little smattering of everything, really. And hardly anything is on the filter, which is already a very good sign indeed. Most of it is being kept in the bin where it belongs, so that's pretty good. Indeed, so first impressions, I mean this is only an unboxing video after all, are too bad. Work out which way to put that in. Oh, hello. It is that way. Yeah, there we go. And that clicks into place there. This you seem to have to put the bottom bit in first and then push the top bit in, which makes sense. So yeah, the vacuum itself isn't on first impression too bad. The only real negative thing I can find is actually the paperwork and Green Oat, if you're watching this take note, you need to find some better translation because, yeah, hope this guy will change your life. It should do, but then you read it and there's, there's just little spelling mistakes absolutely everywhere. Metal tube locker. It's all bed brush, not a turbo brush. Do not abuse the charger cord. Don't intend to abuse it. And yeah, it's all just sort of been translated fairly badly. And 
does need a little bit of work, but it's really there's decent pictures, and you know it, it it explains what to do fairly simply indeed. So for a hundred and I'll say a hundred and forty pounds because obviously it's hundred pounds was an offer price. It's got great potential. I'm not going to say if it's good or bad in this video because obviously we're just taking out the box. Of course it's new and shiny and quite nice. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use it for a while. I'll kick my current cordless vacuum cleaner off its stand and we'll use this and yeah I'll try and get an informed opinion about it because on the, on the offset it got the bits up for a quick rip around you know while you have your main cleaner for other uses it's it's got excellent potential indeed and that's a very good price point as well so yeah there we go the unboxing and first look of the green oat G, G, uh, gsc 50 kindly provided for me by green oat to show you all about it first impressions are not too bad at all so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and I, and this, will see you soon. And comment down below with what you would like to see me do with this. Would you like to put it up against anything? Would you like me to clean anything specifically up with it? Comment what we should do with this to put it through its paces and see just what you get for a sub £150 price point with a cordless vacuum cleaner in 2021. So thank you very much for watching. And I, and this, will see you soon. Bye-bye.